We can't put much more pizza through the business, man. They're going to ask questions. <laughs> you're not pouring like fizzy water in Italy. You're in the Surrey Hills making pizza for me. Oh, 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 no, it's Yoast. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just gone to right. So is this it, an intro? Um, this is it. I'm Rob, this is Ollie. Ollie's broke his ankle. We can't ride. So logically we're making pizza. Yeah. In the Surrey Hills at your jump spot. Yeah, I think it makes sense, doesn't it? That'll probably do for an intro, I reckon. That was it. So should we make some pizza? Maybe we should give a bit of background on how I got into pizza. Yeah. I'm gonna be I'm just gonna open up here. I had quite a habit. Really? Was, yeah, four times a week, sometimes five, 100 quid a week on pizza, 400 quid a month on pizza, 4,800 pound a year. I mean, we're getting up to sort of like half a YZF250 money. It's proper habit, that. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. I just couldn't keep my, I couldn't fund my habit. There you go. So I've had to make my own. I've, I've, and you know, these, everything you see in front of you, what, three quid? How much ash was it? You bought it all. I wasn't putting my hand in my pocket. <laughs> Amazon says this is the best pizza sauce there is in the globe. Really? Yeah, five out of five. I've got some of that. Zero, zero flour. A little bit of salt. A little bit of self raising yeast. And there you go. And do you know what else? What? Pizza is for peasants. Pizza is for peasants, right? Geese around the house the other day wouldn't eat pizza because it was made... Is it called Napolina Tina? No, what's, the, what's that Neapolitan. pizza? Neapolitan. Yeah. Neapolitan pizza, it's all about feeding the peasants. Oh, <laughs> Velo! Why wouldn't you? We're making pizza. And I thought, to be fair, I thought, what's more Italian than a velour tracksuit? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, when we went to, Vel when, when we went to Nepal, you, which I respect you for, you specced first class travel, didn't you? <laughs> it was written into the contract. Imagine you're on a, you're on a first class lounge bit in the plane you're in you're, you're walking to your seat you spent good money for this not my rob, own money rob warner's there as you walk to your seat you're a businessman a successful businessman rob warner's there in a full velour stormzy tracksuit and to be fair no matter what class of travel it is i only travel velour <laughs> no it's true because like if there was something that's made for travel it's velour isn't it velour like, class. it's not sweaty it's not too heavy. It's ultra comfy. I've never you know worn what I mean? It. It's it's. A, have you never worn velour? Never. Yeah, do you reckon we should start? Should we start doing some stuff? Yeah. We should How much in, flour do we need? Does anyone remember? Yeah, it is it 604 that, grams? It's on their website, isn't it? 420 or is it 680? grams. 680. Is that potpourri on the scale? What's that? And that stuff on the scale. Is it potpourri? What's potpourri? <laughs> I only make pizza. What is potpourri? <laughs> Extra fine ground flour. You will not get a nice base without it. You haven't turned the scales on, mate. All right. Well, well it's a bit late now. You've now you've really messed up the process. <laughs> right, six oh seven in there, mate. All right, not a problem. No, Jeez. no rush, no rush. Right. Hey, get, you get edgy hey, about Hey, il dente, il dente. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. <laughs> il dente, il dente. That'll do. That all right. You're, he's seven grams over. I think we'll let that go. You do that? You're not pouring like fizzy water in Italy. You're in the Surrey Hills making pizza with me. Try and Just, do. That, hey, welcome to, the, welcome to the next segment. It's called Ankle Chat. Ankle Chat? Brankle, brankle Chat. Yeah. Because I've, I've broken my ankle three times. There's me feeling sorry for myself. How many times have you broken your ankles? Five. But yours is in a worse state than mine by far. So you win. Don't know if I win. I think you win. Yeah, but... You, is it a win that you yeah, won? You, you've won because you're going to have a limp for the rest of your life. And I seem to walk sort of quite normally. You glide, dude, into a room. Exactly. I didn't want to say it. I shut. I, I sort of slide. You said that you were going to say shuffle then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like shuffle. Cool, man. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne shuffles about. He's, he does. He's quite cool. Do yours oh, yeah. give you chip then? No. No, but I've had to take up yoga because of my pelvis. It got so bad the other day that I couldn't walk properly again. Like really? you, yeah, like you. I was like, you know, like when you have a full stiff leg, that you sort of walk like that because yeah. you can't lift with your groin. Flame oil job. Yeah. So what, how, how, what's, a, what's a pelvis break like then? <laughs> Pretty nasty. I used to wake up in the morning in pain, take three strong painkillers, and then an hour and a half later, I might be able to get out of bed. <laughs> 
it was while I was having a spate of broken legs through motocross, like, and, and I was about to get fired by Giant because I kept hurting myself, and my old man knew it. So every time I'd go motocross, and he'd wait for me when I got home yeah. to see if I was all right. So I'm going down the M4, A34, like, fast, just trying to get home. Get me home, get me home. Someone loaded my bike up, I could, you know, got home, pulled in the drive, thinking, that is bad, that is bad. Dad sees me come in, I give him a thumbs up, everything's cool. <laughs> pull into my drive, get out the van. I literally, I got out of my van like, and then I went like this and I went, ah! and then I just stuck there like that. I couldn't move this leg. And then my dad comes over, he's like, are you all right? It was like, I was playing stuck in the mud. I was like, yeah, I'm absolutely fine, dad. <laughs> and he was like, all right, what are you doing then? I was like, nothing. Why don't you go in then? Well, I've, I've done a, I've had a groin strain actually. And he went, what? And I went, yeah. And I couldn't lift my leg forwards. So, long story short, I got back in the van, drove myself to A&E in Oxford, sat outside it beeping the horn. They came out with a wheelchair, that was that. You know, it was horrendous. You sat outside beeping the horn. Yeah, that wasn't the first time I've done that before. And oh, I, I drove back to Oxford, John Radcliffe with a broken leg as well. That wasn't fun, the gas and air wore out halfway. I fully <laughs> loaded up at the track on gas and air, I was like... <gasps> and, then drove, and then drove on the gas and yeah, air. I was like, off it. Pain free, never felt better. Got in the in the four by. It was when I had that free four by four. Booted it. Honestly, I thought I'd make it talk to it. It was an hour and a half away. Twenty minutes in, I've never. I was crying with pain driving. Like the leg, it was the worst thing. Yeah, and I got to A and E, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just pull up where the ambulances stop. Stop. They look a bit cross, but when they realise you're in agony, they're sound. He's the one with a broken ankle. I've dominated the conversation. How's your ankle? Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on the 22nd and then just stayed in hospital until the 24th for my surgery. They kept you in. So that was the Christmas. They kept you in. Yeah, that was the Christmas shopping period. I didn't have to do any presents. I had an excuse. Just sat there on my on the end of my leg. Amazon. No, I don't have Prime. Don't you? No. Who doesn't have Apple? You live in Surrey and you haven't got Prime? I don't have Amazon Prime. Why? Right, is that, should we go on with the pizzas a bit? I remember when my um, brothers or sister came back from school with something they cooked, you know, and they offer it up to you and you want to you be positive about it, but it just always tastes like eggs, doesn't it? Well, this won't taste like eggs. There's no eggs in it. Why have you bought eggs? We just have eggs everywhere we go now. <laughs> basically, in case it was, basically in case it was cold. But it's, it's all right. Egg? Huh? What do you do with an egg when it's cold? So it keeps you warm. What are you on about? Well, you don't know about that? No. You got that egg on you? My hands are freezing. I love the, I love the egg. Lad, are you cold? Come and have a quick warm. That is what is that? How are they still warm? It's incredible. Well, no wonder I couldn't crack it. No, you won't crack that. It's hard boiled. Give it a good crush. What, even with... <laughs> 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 so you can't break it. How can that not go? On. Hang on, let's really try. Go on, go on. Don't no, you f no, it's Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bad place to have a white steak. That's good. <laughs> Should we do the rest of it sat down? <laughs> oh. So we you told me it was hard boiled. Idiot. I've got to pick up a new amp on the way home. It's going to be horrendous wandering into curries like that, isn't it? Hey, yeah. what's he been doing all day? Yeah. I've been making pizza. You haven't yeah. though, have you? 18 grams of salt. Some people go a little less. You'll be quite thirsty after these pizzas. But I like the 18 grams. Any more, actually, it really stops the yeast working. It inhibits the yeast. There you go. So don't go any more. Yeah, I found that out the other day from that bloke who wouldn't eat pizza because it's peasants' food. It's true. Who is this bloke? Father-in-law. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He's a pizza snob. You can put it in. I don't care. Right. Dude, I'd take the four grand bill a year just buying them. This is hassle. You won't say that when you're doing 400 quid a month. Even the accountant was like, we can't put much more pizza through the business, man. They're going to ask questions. <laughs> right, then you get your, your water in there and the yeast that's activated. I like to make a small divot in the middle. Hold right. on, dog. Hold on. I'm... That's mixed. Tip it in. <laughs> <laughs> tip it in. Tip it in. Now now things get interesting. Right. Now we are about to be dough makers. Dough. This, this, this section is called Make Dough with a Pro. 
Like that, I thought oh, I that like was the way here, yeah. It's gone into rigor mortis, mine. Well, <laughs> it has, it's gone into rigor mortis. It's rock hard. Kay. I go into rigor mortis every time I leave the ground, so. Yourself <laughs> <laughs> lucky. That's proper, isn't it? I've, I've made a rock cake. <laughs> <laughs> what could be our subject for the kneading the dough sort of topic? Well, we've also got some questions from the Darren fans as well. Oh, drop, throw a stem in then. Yeah, that's a good one. I, I Are they think... actually from Melon Fans or did you write them on the way here? When's the next Teaching Rob to Wood video? Well, I've mastered that now. That's the thing, the, the, the Teaching Rob to Whip video part two, that's what, what are we moving on to next? How can we improve on something like... To be honest, I could maybe show you a trick or two now, like see you out of whip, I... because I've, I've, I've taken it on board, I've improved it, now it's time to throw it back to you. I like the sound of that, I like yeah. that. So, yeah. so Rob teaches Ollie how to whip. Yeah, that really worked. That oh, ain't gonna work. What's the first bike park you would both be heading to after lockdown? Oh, good question. I know yours. Yeah, I'm going straight to Rogate Bike Park. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah, going straight there. It's I might come good, there. It's it? yeah, really why not? good, mate. What would be yours? Your, your go-to is Swinley, isn't it? Not really. It's 27 half or 29, classic. Classic. I'm a, I'm, I like 29. I, I, I like different things about them, but ultimately it matters less than we make out, doesn't it? I don't believe in an answer other than focus bikes and a set of alley cats. Personally, uh... uh... <laughs> Should we move on? <laughs> <laughs> right, the dough is done. This is amazing, this thing. Watch this, watch this. I only worked out how to use it yesterday. Like that. In the early days, I couldn't get the cling film over nothing. Look, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've actually done me. You, that was even more chef-like than mine. Feel like a chef? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. When you get this sort of uh, see-through as your ball bag, you're somewhere near. Don't We're worry about the balls. hygiene. 500 degrees C will kill most known germs. Who's had a chicken and fish pizza before? But how can sperm get in an egg? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Dude. How the f my TV presenter? <laughs>